Hello. Uh, so I wanted to make this video a little bit sooner, but coming back to Korea has been surprisingly hectic. I guess unsurprisingly, um, because coming back home after a month away is always hectic. Um, so I suppose now that more time has passed, I've been given more time to reflect on this topic. Uh, so maybe now is a better time anyways. Um, uh, anyways, uh, I had a really, really good time visiting home, visiting Canada, um, and I learned that all of the fears I had about having changed in negative ways were really, really unfounded, kind of stupid. <laughs> um, I experienced an unreasonable amount of love, uh, from my family and my friends, um, and I guess that saying that absence makes the heart grow fonder is true, albeit cliche. Um, I realized that I am incredibly lucky uh, to have so many people who are beautiful inside and out in my corner. They seem happy for me, uh, they're rooting for me, and they're entertained by my Instagram posts. Um, I'm honestly unsure of how I've convinced so many amazing people to be friends with me, but yeah. Um, so I had lots of really, really good conversations with a lot of my friends, but I got one question from a friend that struck me as unexpectedly tricky. Um, she asked me while we were driving, which place I call home? Is it Canada or is it Korea now that I've lived here for a year and a half? Um, and at that moment, when she asked the question, I really fumbled through the answer. And even now, I'm really not entirely sure how to answer that. Um, but here goes. Here's my attempt. What I can say is that it was really good to be home. Um, I had this really giddy feeling um, flying or getting off the airplane in Vancouver and meeting my friend Cassandra who picked me up at the airport and then I got the same happy feeling meeting each of my friends again um, reuniting with them and honestly um, I, it felt like I had been away for only maybe a few weeks at most um, I feel like with every friend we just kind of picked up where we had left off and it was almost like no time had passed really um, and seriously, I felt so loved by so many people. I honestly cannot get over uh, how lucky I am. Uh, so yeah, I experienced this like giddy, tingly feeling um, seeing each of my friends again. But I also experienced the same sort of feeling when I landed in Seoul and went to a cafe and ordered coffee to stave off the jet lag. Um, it felt like I was coming home to Seoul, especially when I got to see my friends who live there. Um, and then I got the exact same feeling again, this sort of tingly happy home feeling in Jeju, when I landed in Jeju and went back to the gym for the first time and saw all the people there after a month. Um, and to me, the conclusion I've come to is that this feeling, this happy welling up of emotions is kind of what I would call home. It is to me at least. Um, so home is not really a place as the name would kind of imply. Um, to me, it's a feeling of familiarity, a uh, feeling of happiness. It's like a weight being lifted off your shoulders so in that case, I see Canada as being as much of a home to as Korea is to me now. They both have this comfortable feeling of familiarity to them. Um, and of course, they both have their ups and downs as any place does, but I love them both. And it sort of reminded me, coming to this conclusion, of a conversation I had with a friend um, once when we were hanging out together and it was way too late or early I guess at that point and we had had way too much wine 
and she began drunkenly talking about her ex-loves and her past loves and how she still loves each man that she had been in love with um she still she loves her husband that she's with now but she i guess carries the love she felt for each guy with her and each love is different but each love is also deeply meaningful and important um so i guess i feel the same way about both countries um and i would call them both home at this point um i really i love them both but in ways that are starkly different from one another um so those are kind of my thoughts on which place i see as home now it's both countries uh it's different people it's different situations that are home home is not one single place to me um and i guess that's why i could explain why i never really felt culture shock coming to korea um i came to orientation uh with a group of other people and quickly bonded with them so i never really had that you're in a brand new situation with everything changed it was it was quick to make new friends meet new people um and maybe i guess i view home in a different way or i'm not sure um but i think to some people home is a collection of flavors and foods and sensations smells and feelings that are all combined to one thing and this is home and to them home might be this external thing caused by this really specific situation that they're used to but for me i guess home is a feeling that comes from inside and there are a lot of things that trigger this feeling for me um maybe my bar is too low on what home is or too generalized but I guess it works out in my favor in this case. Um but anyways, to wrap up what I said last video, it was entirely ridiculous of me to be afraid of going home and seeing my friends. They're all still amazing and they're still under the misguided assumption that I'm amazing as well. And I've come back to Korea realizing just how lucky I am to have so many amazing people in my life. and even though they're far away on the other side of the world except for the ones that live in Korea of course um it's all good and it's going to be okay i don't know those are my thoughts kind of on what home is to me now upon reflection so yeah thanks for watching